Hey guys, Scott Palmer from Maybe here. Welcome to my anime review of something new I've been doing recently. Basically, every week I'll review an anime that I've liked or disliked in detail, and I'll give you a link to watch it online uh, because of copyright and stuff. Uh, these are my uh, animes that I've seen. If there's an anime that you have seen and I have not reviewed it, or maybe I haven't seen it, comment it in the description below or comment section below, and I will check it out and I'll try and watch it, and maybe I'll try and review it. We'll have to see, but I won't be reviewing. One Please Bleach, Naruto, or Fairy Tail uh, anytime soon, I think, just because I don't want to, like, waste my time in getting into the seasons and stuff, because I'm just not ready to take that much time into getting an anime that are that long. So let's get the red into it. This week isn't really considered an anime, we're over an OVA, but the title, you know what we're reviewing today. This week is Pokemon Origins. We will be taking uh, the uh, whole English dub explanation instead of the sub, because it'll uh, be a break from the usual subbed anime. Now, I know the English sub has been out for a while, but the English dub only came out a week ago, so I decided to wait until then. Well, let's get started. Now, following the usual review outlines, I will only explain the most important points in this anime series, like the characters, the story, the setting, the relationships, the voice actors, the animations, the music, and the genre. Let's start with the genre. Now, of course, there's going to be action, mostly adventure, nothing else really genre-like. This anime is basically for nostalgia purposes, for the people who have played the first three Pokemon games, Pokemon Red, Blue, uh, and uh, Yellow, uh, or you can also count Green if you are from Japan. Now the setting. The setting is the Kanto region of the world of Pokemon. Since this anime is based on the original games, they focus on Kanto cities and towns and they do not go to the Sevi Islands from Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. Now time for the characters. There are three main characters in this anime so I'll explain a bit about them. First is Red. He is the main protagonist of this anime as well as the original Pokemon games. He is trying to catch every Pokemon so that he can complete his Pokedex. He is very feisty and a strong sense of justice although he rushes everything. Next is Blue slash Green. He's the main rival of Red in the anime and the game. In Japan, he's referred to as Green, but in America, he's referred to as Blue because in Japan, Green was their second game, whereas Red was the first. But in America, Blue was our second game, whereas Blue was their third. Uh, he is a very cocky person who never thinks he'll lose. And lastly is Giovanni. He's the main antagonist of this anime in the game. He is the leader of Team Rocket and the, a very powerful Pokemon trainer. He is known for mistreating Pokemon and using them as tools. Time to explain the story. The story is very simple and the same as the first three, four games. Travel around, beating gyms, catching and training Pokemon, stop Team Rocket and become the champion. Although, becoming the champion the rest of the episode is the same, yet, uh, but I won't uh, explain that part because after Red does become champion, obviously, there's some other stuff that are different than what the games are in, but I will not spoil that stuff. I want you to experience that yourself. Now for the animations. I found the animations amazing. The animations made it actually feel like an anime and not a cartoon. The Pokemon and the characters all looked great and the world they lived in was beautiful and colorful. Now with the voice actors. The voice actors' choices were amazingly well chosen except for Professor Oak. He sounded a bit too young for his age. Brock's voice actor is known by many as Ichigo Gurisaki. Yes, it's Johnny who's back from Ichigo as Ichigo from Bleach. And both Red and Blue slash Green voice Rin and Yukio Okamura from Blue Exorcist for the English dub that is playing on Toonami soon. Yeah, that's gonna be great. The voices were very well chosen. Oh, the music. How was nostalgic? The, all the music from the original games and and all, and all that stuff was reorchestrated for the anime, and it was great. There was no opening or ending theme for the anime, but honestly, it doesn't matter to me. The nostalgia factor makes everything better. And now the rating part of these reviews. As a rating, I'll split it up to five different categories. Voice acting, the animations, the story, the characters, and the overall enjoyability. Voice acting, 18 out of 20. The voice acting was very good except for Professor Oak because he sounded too young for how he looks. Although side characters, voice actors didn't sound the best, but they were tolerable. Animations 20 out of 20. The animations were amazing and they felt like I was actually watching an actual anime, not a kid's cartoon. They were beautiful. The overall, the Pokemon, the battles, and the people too. They all looked great. The story 19 out of 20. The story was faithful to the original games and it was amazing. The only problem was the end of the last episode. A lot of people hated on it because it was a publicity stunt to show off Mega Charizard X and that uh, since it wasn't uh, like in the original games, it was disliked. To me, I liked it better with Mega Charizard X because it looked a bit cooler, but I understand why people would be hating. Characters 19.5 out of 20. The whole anime is very faithful to how the characters were in the games, but the only problem I had was confusion with Blue and Green's, uh, Blue Slash Green's name. I mean, can't they just choose one and get it over with? Honestly, goddamn. 
enjoyability 20 out of 20. You've heard me say this multiple times already, so I'll say it again. The nostalgia factor and how it was all very faithful to the video games was fantastic. Many people expected this to flop, but it came out great and it was fun to watch. If only it ended up a full-fledged anime instead of a four-episode OVA series. Overall score, 96.2 out of 100, 96.5% and 8 plus great for this anime slash OVA. I hope you enjoyed the video. In the description, there should be a link to the Pokemon TV uh, website. You there on the app for the Android and uh, Google Play slash uh, Apple Apple uh, stuff. There's a uh, app for Pokemon TV. Uh, you can get that. I swear my iPhone is here somewhere. If I can find it, it's right here. I will turn it on. I will show you. I also have the Pokemon app. Uh, one second. It is right here. So you, so you can get the Pokemon app. See. And on here, they show you all of uh, a lot of old Pokemon episodes, and they have all of Pokemon Origins at the moment. So, if you want to go watch Pokemon Origins, go to uh, the Android Store or whatever, and the Apple Store. They both have Pokemon TV app that is TV app that is free. You can watch the old Pokemon episodes and Pokemon Origins. Not to mention that the uh, Pokemon uh, TV website has all four episodes to watch on their website. So there should be a link down there for that. Thank you guys for watching. Scott Pokemon TV. Out.